I wanted to introduce you to easybib.com just in case this is a resource that might uh, enhance your studies in this online course. Easybib offers citation support for your bibliography, your works cited pages. As you can see on easybib.com, there are features for creating citations in MLA, APA, Chicago, and additional uh, citation areas. For our course, we will be using APA. APA, MLA is free, Chicago is free, the others are free. APA does come with a charge. Now, I don't know if you want to use APA or not, but you might benefit from the two-day trial to see if it's something that you might like to uh, add to your toolbar, but I just want to show it to you just in case it's something that might help you. Okay, so I have an account with the APA feature so that I can uh, go through and create projects in APA. The first step is to begin a new project and then to start the bibliography process by researching the sources that are needed for whatever it is that I'm writing. As you can see, when I find and locate that information, whether it's online or whether it's from a resource in the library or from a database, I would take that entry and place it in this white box and copy and paste it and then I would click this green button cite this and the APA citation will appear. So let's go ahead and just practice starting a new project. I need to give the project a name. I can fill in the subject if I choose and I can go ahead and put my thesis statement in this box so that I'm reminded as I go through the entire process what my project is about. And as you can see, we're going to do an APA bibliography. As you can see with all of the bibliographies that I have, I have created the test project. Whenever I'm researching this essay, if I type on and click on this bibliography, as you can see, everything I research and cite will be added to this project. And that way, all of the information will be easy to access when I log into EasyBib. I simply go to this project that I'm working on and continue adding resources to this field and creating the citation. I'm going to practice one with you. I just typed into Google American Psychiatric Nurses Association and here is my research find and let's go ahead and just click on this first one just as practice. And just to get us to a citation for practice I'm going to click on free continuing ed. This takes me to some articles that are written in their free continuing education program. I'm just going to click on one of them. Okay, so I just clicked on the first one. Here's the information. I copied the URL. I paste the URL into my EasyBib project and I have APA checked. EasyBib has searched through the database and found the information and I'm going to click continue. Now it's going to bring up fields for me to check in case I need to add information. These aren't error messages. They are boxes for me to fill out if I have that information. If I don't have that information, then I move on. But for APA, I should locate that information. As you can see, I located her name, the author's name. I located the electronically published date. I filled in all the fields that I can. I'm ready to create the citation. And there it is, my pretty citation, all in APA format. And as you can see, that has been added to my bibliography. After I finish doing all my research, I will click the ones that I want to print 
and click more and create the citation page. 